Welcome to Shaf's technical series. In today's session, we'll discuss LangChain and using LangChain, we'll create Q&A application on Shaf's financial data. In the previous session, we used OpenAI to do the same, but LangChain provides a lot more features compared to OpenAI, so we'll use LangChain instead of OpenAI uh, perform the same Q&A session. So in today's session, uh, we'll go over the architecture, high-level architecture, which is this data diagram. Then I'll describe the LangChain at a very high level and then perform sample queries. Before we go through the data flow diagram and the other discussion, I'll just do a quick query. So this is the LangChain code base, which I already linked in the link here. So using LangChain, I'll perform the same queries I did using the Open AI API. What are the AA, AAA, CX, US top 10 holdings? And also get the latest summary. So I ran that once and I I got the final answer here, top holdings, and also it gives summary, summary in investment company. So let me just run it once again. It's definitely a little expensive query. It also displays the total tokens used for OpenAI. So that query showed me around uh, two, two cents, definitely a little expensive. So we have to reduce the amount of data we sent to OpenAI so that we can uh, reduce the price of the query. So this time the price is a little lower, it's uh, zero, 0.011 cents and I got the final answer so the top holdings is given here and then there's also the summary so that's the demo at a high level now I'll go through the data flow diagram so in LangChain there's a concept called agent today we'll use an agent called JSON agent and then JSON agent will use JSON loader to load JSON files and then LangChain also has a concept called tools we are going to use Google search tool to get the summary of the mutual fund and then we'll feed that data in, we'll stitch the JSON file read from JSON loader and the search tool output into a single dictionary. Then the JSON agent will perform the open API, open AI queries using large language model. So that's the data flow diagram. Uh, I'll try to explain what LangChain is. Whatever we did here, we could have done in OpenAI too, but OpenAI is uh, just the large language model. It doesn't have these facilities like the loaders, tools, and agents. So in the previous session, in the OpenAI session, I gave you an example where we said we wanted to answer a question from a book. So I'll expand a little bit on the same lines. Say for example, you ask me a question to type hello world on the computer. When you tell that command to me, my brain will process that. So the, my brain is the large language model. Then my body is the agent, which is doing the whole activity. And then my brain will tell my body, the agent, that there's a tool called keyboard. Use the keyboard and type the hello world on it. So that way, the whole process. Now, if the keyboard doesn't work, then I'll let the large language model know that the keyboard doesn't work. Then the, my brain, the large language model will do an alternate activity, whether it will print a result saying it cannot do it, or maybe it will say, okay, search for another keyboard, then print hello world on the screen. So this way the agent will try to process the command and do a workflow where it will try to achieve the end goal by using the tools that are provided to it and using the input documents, using the loaders. For example, if uh, the information is, in, information is in a CSV file, it will use CSV loader. If it is an S3, then it will use Amazon S3 loader, etc. The LangChain contains these components called loaders, which uh, get data from the, gets data from S3 files, etc. Or it can even get data from the vector store. Then it uses various tools like uh, here in this screen, we showed the Google search tool. Similarly, it can have various other tools, like I gave the example keyboard tool, etc. So we can plug in various tools to the, J, the agent. And the agent could be anything. In this example, I use JSON agent because my files are all JSON inputs, but you can use any other agent like CSV agent, database agent. The agent will query the database and answers the query. And the agent takes an input of a large language model. In this case, we used OpenAI but it could be anything like uh, Google Vertex AI or uh, Azure uh, AI, etc. These are all plug and play. The agent can take any large language model. It can take any loader. It can take any tools. And then we get the end result. So I already showed a sample query. Now I'll go through the code base. So these are a bunch of inputs we can import. We can, we'll discuss them when we get there. So set debug is a LangChain global. 
if we set debug is equal to true it will display all the activity the agent does so for example here it says what action it is doing so in our case we use the json agent the json agent has started the activity entering new agent executor chain action json spec list keys now the json agent has certain uh, actions in it so the first action it will do is it will list all the keys in the input json so we provided two json files then it got those keys in these keys then it will see action input data because we asked for the holdings of this json file it will go through this key and get the keys again action spec list keys it will get the keys in the in this json file once it got these keys should check the keys under top holdings so it's smart enough to un know that uh, since the question is about uh, top holdings it's going to get top holdings values in the top holdings so action is to json spec list keys again it got this top should check the keys under top holdings and later summary and get the required information so for this key for that file it got the top holdings so that's how we displayed the top holdings then to get the I have found the top holdings now I should get the latest summary and price so it again went to json spec get value for this file there's a latest summary key so it got the summary I now know the final answer thought this is the agent this is the agent thinking and then this is the action that agent takes and these are the inputs to the action so finally the thought is I know the final answer and then we get the final answer so that's how the agent works so I'll go over the code base at a high level we created the chat OpenAI LLM model so this could be any other model in this case we took uh, OpenAI then we defined a tool for Google search this is the tool then for each file for each file we did JSON loader and loaded the document then I get the page content from that JSON file. Then using the tool, Google search tool, I get the mutual fund summary. I print the output and at the same time, I also add a key latest summary for the output I got from the JSON load. So that way I have a all files dictionary, which will have the data corresponding to that file name key. So this way for each mutual fund, I have the corresponding data in the value of the dictionary. Once I have all files data dictionary, I'll create a JSON spec of this size. It goes to, it's a JSON spec. Then using JSON toolkit, I provide the spec to the JSON toolkit. And this is uh, just a standard out callback handler. If we set this one, if we set this handler, then we print all the actions taken by the agent. So that's what we are displaying here. Now we create a JSON agent. The agent takes the large language model like I explained. So agent is the body. To that body you have to give a brain which is large language model. And then the agent will also, the agent will take the, agent takes the large language model and the toolkit which is uh, the spec we created. And then once we create the agent using the open air callback so that we can display the cost, we get the response from the agent. We just instantiate this agent uh, function and it will start the process and then it will go through this thought process so the it will pass the question then it will go through the json files and then it will be smart enough to know which key would contain the answers so in our question we had about the top countries and some latest summary so it displayed the information so i'll run another query just the triple cx us top holdings i'll just uh, ask for that it's thinking and it has started the process the agent executor chain it has gone inside then now it will know which uh, which file to read from since we have asked for this triple cx us it has gone into this json file top holdings then it printed the top hold it and uh, it costed uh, less than one penny so this is a little cheaper call. So with that, I'll conclude today's session. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, please reach me out in the YouTube channel or in the discussion tab here.
In the subsequent uh, sessions, we'll go through all these keywords in Langchain. It's a complex uh, framework. So we'll try to understand all of these and use some of the algorithms in, the, in our mutual funds question and answer session. Thank you for watching.